In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a unique little man beater from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. Now, if you've never met me before, my name is Cody, and I absolutely love the Arizona Cardinals playbook, so much so that I wrote an entire book on it that has over 125 pages of breakdowns. Um, it's a complete offensive and defensive ebook that you can pick up in the description. Now, we're going to jump in. This is this is a play that I didn't cover a ton in the ebook. It's kind of an exclusive play I wanted to do for you guys, but if you want the full scheme, you definitely want to check that out. That link is in the description but let's jump right in i do post four videos a day here on youtube completely for free for you guys so make sure that you subscribe at the bottom right hand corner of your screen that way you never miss one of the videos that i post all right guys i wanted to talk about um a little bit of a unique little man switch so we're going to use the nickel 55 lot a very popular formation this year and the play that we're going to be going over is H shallow cross. But to show you kind of what I'm talking about, I'm going to bring out uh, the play Y, uh, y stick or Y sail. Either one of these will work. Um, we'll just bring out both of them in our audibles. And then on this side of the ball, uh, or from this formation, I want to bring out Z shallow. And I want to bring out just like the standard uh, shallow cross so that you can guys get a good sample size and really understand what is going on with this play but we're going to start with eight shell cross now the one thing i want you to do on your roster is make sure your best route running person is on the right side of the screen that's going to be Devonte adams this play is going to i've talked about this play some but i haven't talked about this little man switch that you're going to see in today's video now um, the first thing I want to do is I want to show I want to go over uh, why shallow cross. You see that I have a drag here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the running back on a wheel route. And what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, if I try to throw the ball to the running back, it can kind of beat man to man, but it doesn't cleanly beat it. And there's there's you know the man's the the man basically does exactly what he's supposed to do. Um, let me show you this one more time. We'll show it to you this time from Y sale. Now we have a shoot route. And what you'll see is I try to shoot it out to the back. Now, yes, it does beat man-to-man, -man, but the man switch doesn't occur. Now what I want to do is I want to show you this specific play here with the eight shell across, and I'm going to shoot the back out to the left side of the field. And what you're going to see is it's going to create a natural man switch. The only issue is that man switch really doesn't do a whole lot. Um, yes, the running back route gets wide open, as you can see, sometimes. As you can see right there, the, the corner is able to, to, to combat it, and it's not really that effective. But I want to show you one simple trick that you can use to make this even more effective. And that's just to motion your running back to the left. By motion your running back to the left, it's going to give him an extra step. And as you see right here, it's going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to, -man to the quick flat. What I like about this quick flat is it's also, it's literally a snap throw. And truly, you're just looking out there to see if they have any hard flats. If they don't have hard flats, it's an automatic 10 yards. That's what I love about this play. And we're going to show you what's going to happen. Uh, and really, truly, what you want to do when you're running this play is, in my opinion, you want to run this to the left, ha um, on the right hash, to the wide side of the field being on the left side. So you want the field, right? They, they call it the field, the wide side of the field to the left side, the boundary side of the field to the right side. That's that's how, what my general rule of thumb is. And what you'll see on this little motion snap is this is going to give your running back a lot more room to be able to maneuver and be able to get out here, as you can see right there. Now, the man switch doesn't quite um, doesn't always occur when you're on this hash, but it still works really, really well, as you can see right here. And what's you see how it's just roasted. It just roasts man-to-man -man coverage, and that's what I love about that little route. Now, what I want to show you really, really quickly here is what happens when they man align and they press, because when they man align, it is going to change a little bit of how they're going to defend things, and we'll show you that here in just a second. But really quickly, let me move the ball back over to them, either to the middle or to the left side hash, um, because they do defend this a little bit differently depending on what hash you're on, um, and we'll jump into that in just a minute. But what you'll see here with this man align, they're man aligning, they're shading their coverage outside, they're shading their coverage over the top, they're doing everything that they're supposed to do to turn this into a really really good man-to-man -man coverage and automatically they're going to get beat for a quick five to ten quick seven eight that that's that's what i love about this route combination that's what i love about this route and if they're to run let's say they run like cover two well if they run cover two what you're going to see these hard flats yes they are there but you see that they really don't stop it that's what I think is so powerful about this play. They literally don't stop it because of the of the positioning of the run of the running back. So, like, if for example, if I ran this and I had the running back on this, like right in this position right here, you can see I can flip it out to him quick and get an automatic 
you know, three to five yards, but the hook curls kind of hang in there, especially if they put the hook curls at five yards or they're for, if they're vertical hooks in the cover two defense. Now what I want to do is show you when I motion him to the left. And when I motion him to the left, if I just snap, throw it, you're going to see that he's going to still catch it and he's going to get upfield for, you know, a decent, a decent game, two or three yards at the most um, or at the least there. And you'll see I can show you this one more time. And then I'm going to show you one thing you can do off of this that's going to make this even better. So, again, just pass lead it up. And you see it's just a snap throw and you're able to move it quick. That's what I like about the route. But now what I want to do is I want to show you what happens when you want to burn them. Well, this little stock fade to Marquez Valdez Scantling is one of the best routes against cover two uh, defense. And you see here, if they're, if they're playing hard flats, like if their corners are basically coming down on the running back, it's a, literally a two-man read. You see the corners come down, it's super, super straightforward, man. Literally just throw the ball. Throw the ball to the to the square receiver where I'm just looking right at the corner here. I see Opie comes down, and I'm throwing that with a hard left pass lead. Um, by hard left, I mean a 9 o'clock pass lead on my left joystick. Throwing that right there, and I'm going to be able to get up that seam. Now, what's also really cool, let's say they go like to – let's say they go to – uh, cover three and they put purples out there well most people are dropping their purple zones back pretty significantly if they're dropping there if they have anything less than five yards or i'm sorry anything deeper than five yard curls um or or routes they're not going to be able to stop this this little route combination and that's to me what makes it so cool now what they might do is they might hard flat so like we might see them do a little hard flat you see i can still fit the ball into the running back i can still hit it in fact i can still hit it very very quickly um, and get a little bit more than that so if i see something like that and they start doing that then i can leave him kind of where he's at and see how he's going to float up for about two to three yards what's also really cool though is um, from cover three perspective, if they start bringing everything down, they start shading down, they start coming down, and they're really trying to take away that running back route, then what you now have is you have this low ball post route over the middle of the field to Devontae Adams. This post route is one of the best post routes in Madden 21. In my opinion, most people sleep on this route this year, but basically what's going to happen is hard inside pass lead, click on, and um, sometimes if you're facing cover three, if they have a really, really good middle third defender, like right there, it's Devin McCourty. If they have a really, really good middle third defender, then what you're going to want to do, especially if you know it's cover three, just take Marquez Valdez Scantling and get him out of the way, like put him on a comeback or something and basically run something like this combination right here. This little concept right here is going to torch the cover three defense because what's going to happen is basically um, he's going to get over the top. And forgive me for my massive fails right now because of good old practice mud sheds. He's going to get over the top of the cover three. The one thing I would recommend, though, is if you want him to get underneath that deep blue, which is going to be most effective, in my opinion, just smart route him. Most of the time, that, that cover three uh, deep third is going to be coming from right to left. He's not just going to be sitting right there. And if he is sitting right there, it's going to be a problem. But there you see, there the route gets the separation that I'm talking about. Now, again, I do want to just, you know, reiterate cover three is going to do the best against this um man's not going to do good against this at all this quick read is going to torch man but what you're also going to have is you're going to be able to hit that in route to robert tonyan um over the middle of the field very very nicely they're oftentimes going to use your, your drag route which is going to then leave them vulnerable to your uh your post route now against man-to-man -man coverage i did want to show you this um this route does as long as it's not you see stefan gilmore is um with the one step ahead ability he can, he can kind of hang with this a little bit, but most of the time, most of the time, the route to Devontae Adams is going to get the separation. Um, let me get that to him right there. I, for whatever reason, I don't know why Devontae Adams isn't getting the catch animation that I need him to get. Uh, let me just back the dogs off a little bit here um, because practice mode sheds are just absolutely insane in this game. But literally hard left pass lead, click on. And eh, what looks like whatever, you know, they're going to shade coverage outside over top anyway. Press man might be the new meta you'll see soon. But, but you know, with that one step ahead, that's really what's helping him out. But what you'll see here, that's that's what I'm talking about when you get it right in that in that pocket. And for whatever reason, Aaron Rodgers is just kind of shaming me on these throws. But this route does work really well. You see there's that man switch. The dig route will work as well for you if you're trying to beat man-to-man. -man. The main thing I wanted to focus in on is show you, showing you the man switch. With Devontae Adams route, like I said, if it's any other corner that doesn't have one step ahead, it's going to be an automatic victory. 
but because Stephon Gilmore has his X Factor lit up, and because of every you know all of these things, for whatever reason, um, you know Madden is just going to make him play like a goon. Uh, but we'll throw a we'll throw a quick curl to get his X Factor off, and then I'll show you I'll show you this route that he goes on here. So like I said, it's just this simple little um, little man switch on that left side here, and what you'll see is Devonte Adams pass lead that up, and that's what I'm talking about. That is the route combination that will torch cover two man over the top of the defense. It also has very, very good underneath little man switches um, that you're going to really love. I love this route to Aaron Jones. Absolutely love the route to Aaron Jones. Um, I think it's one of the best routes in Madden. What you can do with it also, if you want to, is you can leave it right in here if you want to. You just have to be kind of precise on your throws and learning a little bit about it. But that is the real uh, beauty of the eight shallow cross. It creates almost like a almost like a a, a little mesh concept, a um, little crossing action, and it really does mess with the man defenders. You'll see here. This is me running it to the left, and even if he even if they don't switch off um, all the time the route will still get open even when they don't switch off. So, like, it's a true man-beating route just because of the fact that it is. And I don't think it's actually – it's a it's not a table route. It's it, it looks similar to a table route, but it's a little bit different. And that, to me, is what makes it so effective. And like I said, you can leave him on his route right here just like this, and you'll see they're going to come through, mesh, and he's still going to beat that man-to-man -man as long as he doesn't get that um, wide receiver drop uh, – wide receiver drop – uh, deal that Madden seems to love to employ to us this year, but yeah, these these little quick little quick routes right here are very very effective um, against man to man. Even if they drop their corners, even if they drop their safeties, you're still going to be able to use this. So if you're looking to beat man to man, if you're looking to beat some zones, and real quick, I did want to show you really really briefly here um, the cover four drop. So if you if you're running up against someone who's running a lot of cover four drop. What you're going to see is this this route combination will typically toast it. The only thing that the only thing again, and that's what I'm saying. Like if you get more cover two, I would leave uh, Vada Scantling on his route. But if you get more cover four or cover three, then you want to put him on a comeback or an out route. And what you're going to see is these little meshes will come over the middle, and then right there you're going to be able to one play score cover four over the top. That's what I'm looking at right there. So. That's a really, really good, powerful play concept from the Air Raid offense, in my opinion. That's And that is literally a free tip, guys. We have even better play breakdowns in our ebook. Uh, we have one play touchdowns against every single defense. We have coverage defenses that are really, really effective. We blitz. We can send uh, six. We can send seven. We can send five. We can send four. But I think we got a, a blitz in the ebook that is a two man pressure. So we have some really, really good pressure in there for you. We have some really, really good run defense. We have some really great passing concepts, in my opinion. So if you haven't picked up the guide yet, I'd highly encourage it. I also want to invite you to join our text message membership. It's basically 100% free. Literally, all you have to do to join is just shoot me a text. Pull out your cell phone right now. Go to your messages section and type into your messages. Uh, start chat or start a new message. Type in 812 Two one six three six four four. That's my cell phone number. And then just say, "Hey Cody, what's up? I'd love to receive the text message tips." And then that way I can get you saved in my contacts, and I can start sending you our weekly tips. So far, we have some really really good material out of the Big Nickel Over G and the Gun Cluster, and I think we actually did a free uh, mini ebook out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook for you guys as well. So if you're looking to get better at the game. Those are some really tangible things that you can do that I think are really going to help you uh, get better at this game. And last but not least, be sure to join our Discord. There's a link in the description for that. That's a great place where you can kind of become a part of our community. Talk Madden 24-7 with the rest of our team over there. we got some really, really solid guys um, in our Discord community. So I've been really, really pleased with how that's going. Thank you so much for your time, guys. We will be streaming tonight. We do stream every single night on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you need uh, a link to the streams or any help finding those, just text me. I also have uh, links in the description for you as well. But thank you so much for your time, guys. I really appreciate it. And we will see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock.